Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and thank you for checking out our featured software series. All right, so today we're going to take a overview look at the project window within Studio One from Personas. This is where you master your audio, whether you're going to be doing a digital release or burning your CD. Uh, basically, you can come here, and once again, this is the thing about Studio One: everything is accessible, uh, you know, through multiple uh, formats. You can either come through your taskbar at the top and uh, you know import files, um, control your transport, you know access Studio One setup information, access your help menu, uh, adjust your you know the different uh, parameters to view and so forth. You have the ability to go and update um, you know, files if you find out that there is a, a file in your uh, timeline that uh, you forgot to do an automation or a tweak on, you can go back to the multi-track session, make an update, and then when you come back to the uh, project window, it automatically updates for you. Um, you can burn a disk, you can burn an image, um, you can view uh, your DDP image for duplication houses, uh, you can do a um, digital release directly to your SoundCloud uh, account, or you can just simply, you know, uh, render it out to various, uh, you know, digital formats uh, such as MPEG. Mm -hmm. And then you have access once again to your start window, your song window, as well as uh, various projects if you needed to switch to another project. Uh, you do have your browse button down here. So you can come through here, go to files, and uh, let's uh, this will allow you to be able to, you know, access various, um, you know, various uh, files if you wanted to browse that way. You can literally drag and drop if you want to you know, uh, shrink down Studio One window and then locate the file through your desktop and drag and drop it, you can definitely do that. Um, also, you have your recent files, so we can pull up a recent file. And, uh, you know, we can bounce out and then we can go back to the project and, um, you know, makes uh, life very simple and how you can actually accomplish all of these things here. So we can come through here and pull up, say, the echolocation final, and there it is. There's the song right there, and the next track would come down here. You can see there's a little bit of a pause. That's lead time. If we go in here, you'll see that two-second gap. Now, we always start off with a two second gap but we can adjust that and let's say we had a, a second you know version of the song you know now we can actually adjust this so that we can have a one second gap so from the time that this starts or we can do a zero so from the time this ends to the time this starts is no delay no pause you have drop downs for being able to put in your artist information um, you know this was a song that I wrote so I could put my name in here um, you can put in songwriter information uh, genre year artwork if you wanted to um, in comments folder I sometimes put uh, you know my website for my band and you can change the name so now your track list is updated. Now the cool thing about this, and this is what I really like about this program here, is that you have your master section where you can add in, let's say, let's just do a compressor. And then we'll do a limiter. And that's going to affect all the songs in the timeline. But we have two different songs. Let's say they require different EQing. So I can select this, come here and go to the EQ, and 
say make that sound like it's in a phone booth, then I can select this, you see the EQ went away. So I can come here and I can say add a multi-band compressor. I think the way that this second track is uh, is working is great and um, you know I just want to have a little bit different character. I don't need any EQ so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna pick that. So now if you come back through here you can see that the inserts for the individual song changes and you also have your loudness detection here as well so you can see all the parameters of your song and know exactly what you're getting. Alright so if we actually play the file you can see right here this is the frequency response of the song below that you have the volume output of the song as well as your phase meter and you can adjust your styles of metering as well as adjust your visuals on the frequency analyzer. And if we have it playing, we can actually also just click on this and it jumps right to the next song. So if we had multiple tracks, we could just sit there and click back and forth and it will jump to the beginning of that song that we've selected. And you can hear, you can also just click anywhere in the timeline and be able to bounce back and forth to make sure that the levels match and that everything seems coherent for the release. Uh, you do have further uh, adjustments on each song. As you can see, I've actually reduced the volume simply by clicking the center point, and you can adjust that way. So you have basically an individual fader per song as well, so that you can then further tweak things, as well as your anchor points for your fade in and fade out and then how line linearly you want to fade out exponentially, uh, linear, or logarithmic. So it gives you a lot of power as well as being able to, let's say we want to not have the full song, so we're going to come in a little bit, we're going to fade out a lot, and we're going to do it exponentially. Now, one thing I want to show you on that, because there was not a song after that, if we do this, let's say this one we're going to fade out and we're going to do logarithmically and then we're going to cut it down you can see how the other one follows it it stays glued there and it stays glued to the fact that I have a zero second pause between the end of that song and the beginning of the other one so I can double click here and it goes right into the next song so very cool aspects here, uh, just a lot of things you can do. You have a master fader here as well uh, if you need to adjust the volume level that is going into uh, your master section. Of course, you probably want to just keep that at zero. And then you also have the individual tracks, so you can adjust the volume of the track itself here as well if you didn't want to tweak it with the uh, center punch there. Um, and then from there, you know, we can go to digital release. We can select which ones we actually want to export. We don't have to export all of them at once. So if we just want to export one song, you know, say we've got our whole CD, everything's good, um, but, you know, we have one that's finalized. The rest of them we're still working on tweaking with uh, the final uh, or with the uh, individual inserts. And we just want to release that one single. We can come here, release it, tell it where we want it to release to, you know, what format we want to release it, what bit rate we want to release it. Um, if we want to, you know, export the metadata with it. And then, you know, we can hit OK and... There we are, we're exporting. It also gives you the ability to export in real time. So that's kind of something I like to do. I like to burn disks in real time and export in real time uh, so that it actually, you know, it's not necessarily just kind of sitting here doing a, a fast math equation. And then once this uh, finishes rendering out, pops up and it shows you the song and it's good to go. 
So we now have our MP3 with all my metadata in, you know, embedded into the uh, track, and it opens up the file right there. So if we wanted to immediately upload it to our website, um, we're good. If you wanted to upload it to your SoundCloud, you're good to go. So very cool, very powerful. Um, this has easily become my favorite mastering uh, platform. It's just so easy to accomplish anything you want. Uh, and, you know, Studio One's become the heart of my studio, and uh, it's been a, a, a pleasure actually getting to know this just because of how easy it is to use and how powerful it is. Um, so whether you're just making, you know, demos at home to sell while you're playing local shows or whether you're trying to make that demo uh, for that record label or whether you're a commercial studio making a professional record for a label or, um, you know, just for a client, this does a great job at giving you everything you need. Again, thank you for joining us for our featured software series videos. For more information and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.